Hi everyone, welcome to uh, Monday's update. Uh, just a short reflection. I've been thinking today a little bit about finger pointing. How it's easy, isn't it, to point the finger at other people as the ones who should take the blame. We live at a time in history when there's a lot of finger pointing going on, whether we should have had testing earlier, whether lockdown should have been happy, what should have happened earlier or finger pointing about um, the issue of policing or, or the uh, racism within uh, our culture and in our communities. It's easy to point the finger at others and say uh, it's their fault, it's you. I was reading this morning from Isaiah 6, the story of Isaiah's commission, you'll probably know it well. It ends in, in the end of chapter 8 with that verse where uh, God says, who shall I send? And Isaiah responds with these words. He says, here I am, send me. But in the preceding verses, it's fascinating that Isaiah, when he was referring to himself said, I am a person of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips. In other words, I can't possibly go and do anything because I am at fault here. I think Isaiah's response is to say, he counted himself in where there were wrongs in the world. And I wonder whether we too ought to be doing the same rather than pointing the finger at other people and saying it's them. Let's remember that actually when we point the finger at others, there are three fingers that point back at ourselves. We are called to take a good look at ourselves in this current climate. We all matter. We all actually are precious to God, whatever our background, our age, our skin colour. We are all actually made in his image and we all equally at times can be at fault. And so maybe in the world that we live in, maybe we should echo with Isaiah and say, do you know what? We are a people of unclean lips. We make mistakes. We've all done wrong. And actually we need the forgiveness of Jesus in this moment, like in any other. That doesn't... Um, uh, absent us from actually living to make a difference to standing up where there are wrongs because we are called to do that. Isaiah started with saying do you know what I'm not perfect and God said but I call you who will go and then Isaiah stood up and said here I am send me. We are a sent people called to stand uh, for uh, freedom in Jesus, called to stand for justice each of us counted in. We are a people of unclean lips. All of us come before Jesus and say, we're messed up, we need your help. And when we receive his forgiveness, we're then called to take our stand. Here I am, Lord, send me to be a peace bringer, to be a people reconciler, to be someone who stands up for justice and truth, but does so with love in their hearts. It's that that Christians are called to. We're called to set an example of what it means in this day and age. And so rather than finger pointing them, governments, other people, maybe we should take a good look at ourselves. Say, Lord, here am I, send me, help me to take my stand for what it means to be a follower of Jesus. Pray that God blesses you this week as you are a sent person, wherever you find yourself sent to and pray that God would speak through you and bless you in all that you are called to. Hope to see you when we gather together on Wednesday for morning prayer and also Friday. Both of those are at 9.30. And, uh, and also if you're a young person, you'll be gathering with Sam and the youth team to pray, particularly uh, around the Black Lives Matter um, uh, issue and to stand alongside uh, people as we pray. So if you're a young person, you'll get information about that. And let's keep following Jesus in the strange times that we find ourselves in. God is faithful. Amen.